It's 9.30 right now. We got like seven orders to pack, something like that. And I think I'm gonna finish some FBA splits today. So in the last shipment, I had three splits. I only sent one of them, so I have two boxes to send, I think. And there's enough stuff here to do that, so I'll do that. And then we've got a lot of planning to do. So my end goal for this year is to have 100k net worth and for that to happen, I'm supposed to have 30k in the bank by the end of this month, but looks like we're not going to get anywhere close to that because I spent so much money on inventory, which isn't really a bad thing because obviously I need to be buying inventory, keeping the business running to get to make money, but um I don't know, I just feel like I'm off track or something. And I really just haven't felt motivated to work on like this business. Like I just have not wanted to do any of this the last few days, even though I've been, oh, uh, I mean, the only thing I've really been doing is getting orders out, some random sourcing here and there, so I think, I mean, I feel like I just need to take a break, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. We've got about a week and a half left in the month, so I think if I just take, like, a few days off, if I just take, like, next week off, then we're gonna have a really strong month in July. One thing I really preached at like the beginning of the year was that taking breaks is one of the most valuable things you can do for your business because in 2018, I was at, so it was like July, June, July 2018, I was at like 30k revenue on Amazon and what I did was, well it wasn't exactly my choice but my family went to India for vacation to visit relatives and stuff so um, we were there for like 40 days or something. And that was a really good break from the daily, like, grind of running this business and everything. It's felt really good to step back, and then I felt really super, like, motivated and energized to just get to work. So, I was at 30k revenue then, and that in that 40-day period is when I decided I wanted to do 100k revenue by the end of the year. And that was a really big deal for me, to go, to do 70k revenue in... Uh, like six months, five months, August, September, October, November, December is what I had to do $70,000 in revenue because we came back from India the very end of July. So I had five months left closer to the end of the trip. I did a ton of eBay to Amazon sourcing. So when I came back, um, post office was like had multiple carts of packages for me. So we went and picked those up and then I really got to work on that. So I went from having like 5k months to like 10k in almost 10k in August, a little over or even closer in September, October kind of fell, but then Q4, killer Q4, did like 17,000 in November and 30,000 revenue in December. So I ended up hitting 100k revenue on December 30th. That was a crazy time. And I don't think I've felt like that motivated to run this business in a long time. Technically, we would have went to India this summer, but instead people were going to come here. But neither of those things can happen now because of coronavirus. So I think I really should take a break. So yeah, we're going to have some interesting vlogs next week. But anyways, uh, for today, what we're going to do is we're going to pack orders and do these FBA shipments and then I want to take everything out of this room and do a carpet cleaning since we have a carpet cleaner now. So, yeah. These carpets have never been cleaned. It's been five years. They've never been cleaned. I'm not sure if that... I mean, it's not that bad, but we'll see how much dirt comes out. This controller sold for... $80 plus $8 or $9 expedited shipping, so that is a solid profit. I bought this from GameStop.com, actually. Technically, you could still go buy this. The reason I'm not buying more is because the margins aren't that great. The only reason this is good is because they paid for expedited shipping, but most people won't, so I'm only making like $7 on an $80 sale, which is kind of high risk and not the best margin, so I'm going to not reorder this, but you can. I bought it, yeah, this is used, I bought it used, and I sold it as used acceptable. It is in good condition, but I listed it as acceptable, so, you know, under describe, over deliver sort of deal. So, yeah, hopefully they like this.
You guys think I should get a haircut? It's just past 4 o'clock right now. We're going to go to... We dropped off FBA shipment. We're going to go to Lowe's. And we're going to go to Target. I have returns at Target, but I also have to pick up 12 items. But that's drive up. Originally, we weren't going to go inside, but then I wanted to return this stuff. So we're going to go inside, return that. I haven't been inside a Target in three over three months now. It's June 19th. Last time I went to Target was sometime before, like... I don't even know if I went in March, but anyways... That's going to be nice. There's one product I'm on the lookout for. I don't know if they have it. It's not on their website, but it might be in store if I'm lucky. So it is almost 9 o'clock right now. We went to Home Depot, we got some groceries, went to Target, got the order pickups, returned a bunch of online arbitrage that came damaged, and that brought back 100 bucks, which was nice. And then I got a haircut. Anyways, I got this package from London, so let's look at that. So I bought these from London because they were cheaper compared to US, and, and look at the packaging on this. I really like this box. I don't know how I feel about the shoes though. I mean, I like them, but at the same time, I don't. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep them or sell them. If I sell them, I could probably get 120 and I paid like 70 or 80 so that wouldn't be that bad, but I might keep them. I did try them on, and they fit fine, but I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog here. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. If you didn't see yesterday's video, it'll be in the description. And at the end of the video, if you wanna get more daily content from me, make sure you check me out on Instagram at Sanjay Suresh TMS. That'll also be in the description. And until tomorrow, bye guys. <laughs>